Hi, I'm Dr. Randall Snook. Our mission is to eradicate choking deaths. Did you know choking is the fourth leading cause of accidental death in the world? A child will die every five days in the U.S. from choking on food, coins, or toys. Over 16 million children are taken to the emergency room every year. Suffocation from choking is also the third leading cause of unintentional death among the elderly. Now, I've been an internal medicine physician for over 25 years. The abdominal thrust has been the standard to save the life of a choking victim. However, this maneuver can fail. What if there's no air in the victim's lungs? What if the rescuer is unable to get into position? What if you were choking and no one was around? What else could you do to save a life? If the abdominal thrust fails, within four minutes, the brain may become hypoxic, resulting in possible brain injury. This is why I want to introduce you to the DeChoker, a medical device invented and designed to work in the event that standard protocol fails. What if you were able to apply suction to a choking victim and literally suck out the food or object? This is exactly what the DeChoker was designed to do. With the DeChoker, there is no abdominal thrusting, no lifting, and no back slapping or pounding. Here's how it works. First, open the victim's mouth and simply insert the tube portion into the mouth over the tongue like a tongue depressor. Position the mask over the mouth and nose. Tilt the head back and lift up slightly on the chin. Create a tight seal by applying firm pressure and pull back on the plunger to remove the air from the mouth. If the object is not dislodged, push the plunger back in and pull back again quickly. The DeChoker has a one-way exhaust valve, so you won't push air back into the mouth. Once the object has been dislodged, it will be visible in the device. You may have just saved a life. Help me eradicate choking deaths throughout the world.